welcome back to the Gaither Gang. Today I'm going to be sharing with you our kindergarten curriculum. Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what we've chosen for our kindergarten curriculum. Uh, my twins are in kindergarten this year and we are really excited to get started with them. We did a little bit for pre-k last year uh, and I'll kind of tell you a few things that we really liked about what we did for pre-k so um, that might be a little bit helpful to some of you who um, are doing pre-k instead of k or who like to mix and match. Uh, different levels, but um, let's just jump right in. For kindergarten, um, are going to cover language arts, math, and our what we're what we've chosen to do for Bible, and then our group lessons as a family. Um, so there's really four main areas that I'd like to share with you guys today, um, and how we're going to cover kindergarten this year. So first things first, let's just jump right in. And for math, we have chosen a Becca K-5 numbers skills. And this is what we have done with all of our kids is started with a Becca. And um, these lessons are really simple. We do one page one page front and back per day of course when they're little when they're kindergarten i sit down with them and help them uh, do their lesson explain to them any of the concepts that they're not really sure about and then help them practice on this sheet a lot of times along with this i'll get out our little whiteboard and a marker um, and be able to sit down with them and teach them the concept of what they're about to learn, whether it's um, touch counting, one item, two items, three items, um, or if it's grouping things by five and counting by fives or grouping things by 10 and counting by tens. Um, a lot of that we can teach right on the whiteboard um, and then they can practice writing things out or drawing or We've, we've taught addition a lot of times where I'll draw four items out on the board and I'll say, now you draw two more and then count how many's there. Um, and so some of the really simple math skills can just be taught that way and then we use this to um, give them practice sheets. This has worked really, really well for us. It actually helps my kids stay above level in math um, so what we usually do is uh, the, the K-5 in kindergarten and then we do level one next and then by that time, by the time they're in second grade, they're ready to jump over to teaching textbooks um, level three. So that sounds like they're great ahead, but I really feel like um, Abeka is um, advanced and teaching textbooks starts out real slow. But I'm okay with that decision because if I start my children on teaching textbooks at level three when they're only in second grade, um, it, it evens out. And there's plenty of time for them to go through all of the teaching textbooks levels. By the time they graduate, um, they have that full rounded out um, math that built um, up through the years. And that has been working really well for us. So, kindergarten math, Abeka, numbers, skills, K-5. All right, let's move on to language arts. First, I'm gonna show you this little page. I don't know if you can see it that well. This little page that um, I created myself um, that goes along with our whiteboards. I've showed, I've showed in a different video about these whiteboards. Um, but what we do is uh, we write down their sight words on the board. I write down a, a blend at the bottom and we call it a builder. So they're going to build words with the blend. Um, and so how we use this sheet is they have to copy down those words that are on their whiteboard. They copy down the words here. 
they copy down their builder and then they build words down here um, and so we like doing that when we sit down and we're waiting for mom to cook breakfast the kids will sit down and they'll do their handwriting and they'll do their whiteboards um, before we start our full school day um, so we have that for language arts we also um, have handwriting I was going to do my other kids are doing the good and the beautiful handwriting however um, last year for pre-k the twins did the good and the beautiful I think it's called doodles or something like that in the handwriting um, and they they liked it for four-year-olds <laughs> for four-year-old boys who don't like to write much they liked it um, but since they've already done that one if I'm not missing something I think it jumps from doodles to level one and we needed something in between so this year for kindergarten we're going to do Danilian. Um, so I just got this off of Amazon um, and each day they will have a sheet some of the pages are mainly uh, coloring or um, drawing some of the pages but that is to get their motor skills going right um, and then uh, of course there's other pages where it's follow the line or follow the path um, but I promise it does get into how to write your numbers how to write your letters um, so and so this is Danilian and right there you can see it says level K and so that's what we've chosen for kindergarten handwriting language arts I think I have to preface this because a couple years ago I made a video telling everybody why we quit the good and the beautiful I'm not taking that video down because it's important the reason we quit was because of all the age levels we had um, and the family size it did not work for us however this year is different because I have five kids and so when they were all on different levels that was really hard to do all five different levels um, and get everything done so we had to quit now things have changed my twins obviously are on the same level well, I shouldn't say obviously because they could be on different levels but my twins are on the same level so I have level K to sit down with two students and do then um, my second grader and my third grader are on the same level so I'll be doing level two with them and then my sixth gra my seventh grader um, is going to public school this year so I have four homeschool kids and only two levels so I'm back down to being able to bring back the good and the beautiful and so that is what we have chosen for um, kindergarten level K um, we are going to do this probably really slowly we might not get through the whole thing this year um, knowing us we probably won't and then when they start first grade next year they'll be at the back half of level K still maybe we'll just see how that goes um, anyway they had last year when they were in pre-k the reason I feel confident starting my guys on level K for kindergarten is because last year they did hooked on phonics and if you have never signed up for hooked on phonics you should because it was amazing um, the lessons are super simple Um, the lessons are super simple, but you get um, to download their their app. Uh, we have Kindles, and so we were able to put the Hooked on Phonics app on our um, Kindle. And so they get to play these games that go along with what they're working on in their book. Um, and then they also send books like readers. Um, that you get to sit down and read with them that are also um, hitting on the things that they're learning in the phonics book and we did that for pre-k and um, we would continue with that except I didn't want to um, 
financially right now we just didn't want to pay for it and it's not expensive look it up um, if I can I'll link it in the description it's not that expensive it's just for us this year we're spending money on different things check out the hooked on phonics um, if if you're interested it was wonderful we just aren't spending money on that this year um, because you can get the good and the beautiful for free we download it and then we just print it off as we go I don't even print the whole thing off all at once and um, we just print pages Whoop, there we go we just print pages off I print every page that we're going to use that week at the beginning of the week and put it in a binder and then we work on that and that way we can just not have to keep up with you can't see that um Anyway, you don't have to keep up with a big book and lose it and spill on it and make it nasty. We just print as we go, and that has always worked for us. So, let's recap language arts. We're doing The Good and the Beautiful, Level K for Kindergarten. We're doing Danilian Handwriting and our personal whiteboards for extra practice. That has always worked well for us. It helps them start reading early. Um, works great. So that brings us to Bible. We do a couple of different things for Bible, but I just started thinking, you know, I just want to start teaching certain core um, truths from the Bible. My children are still young enough that I wanted to cover things like and the fruit of the spirit but I didn't want to just do it for a week I wanted to extend it and really dive deep into the fruit of the spirit so I'm making my own studies for the fruit of the spirit for the Beatitudes for the full armor of God the Ten Commandments uh, things like that so that we can spend a lot of time on those things and then as they grow those things are just um, basic for them uh, that was my idea um, and so um, I'm gonna show you the one we've been doing because the one we're gonna do isn't complete yet but we've been doing the fruit of the spirit what I do is I make different sheets so um, there is a coloring sheet and a memory verse and then there is a lesson so we learned about I am the vine I am the vine you are the branches so that goes along with fruit of the spirit um, and this is a page that they can fill out uh, for that information um, I've made a page I call it a draw write page so you draw here and then you write about it here so there's a draw write page um, then this one is uh, a copy work page and so there's the memory verse and then you copy the memory verse here then there's also a tracing page with the memory verse I'm not sure you can see the trace but um, so that's the memory verse and a tracing font and the kiddos can trace that and a word search um, and so we wouldn't do all of this on one day we would spread it out over a week so we would spend one week on what is the fruit of the spirit then we would spend um, a full week on love a full week on joy a full week on patience kindness gentleness faithfulness goodness and self-control um, and so the unit that I make has that and it has um, a YouTube playlist of hymns and I'll show you a little bit of that uh, real quick uh, there's a YouTube playlist uh, on my uh, YouTube channel and it is this one is for the fruit of the Spirit um, and you go to it you open it up and there are songs about every fruit of the Spirit so there are hymns uh, based on love there are hymns based on faithfulness goodness gentleness all of the fruits of the spirit and so as we go through we can listen to specific hymns or we can just open that playlist and um, you know have some have those hymns playing while we're doing other things and um, yeah so I also have made um, a playlist on YouTube of 
where to go to watch some other videos where other people other people have taught those concepts um, so what we do is we wake up in the morning and we talk about the fruit of the spirit we watch um, those teaching videos then we watch the hymns that go along with it and sing those um, and then we come to the table uh, while they wait on me to do to make breakfast and they do their little sheet that goes with it and it's super simple it's relaxing in the morning it's super easy and it gets the Word of God into our hearts um, I spent all of that time telling you all of that to because uh, when I have these fully done and ready and available um, I'm going to share those with y'all um, I'm going to put those up on the channel and offer those for everybody for free because I think the gospel should be free. I don't think you should have to pay uh, to learn God's word. And um, so all of the hard work I'm putting in for my family, I just want you guys to have access to it as well. It's not ready yet, but when it is, it will be linked here. And then I'll also make a separate video of explaining exactly how to do it. Um, and then all of the information in its that video's description so you can have access to the units I'm making. So that's exciting as well for this year. Uh, in the evenings, like I said, um, since we're still talking about curriculum and uh, the Bible part of our curriculum, um, and I have one child who will be in public school um, we obviously need to get the Word of God into him um, as well. And so uh, what I do in the mornings, I read the Bible with him. Um, we just pick somewhere and we go straight through it so we can exegete correctly. Um, and then, you know, we talk about uh, what we read and he asks questions or I ask questions and um, we learn the Word. Um, then in the evenings, um, school's done, uh, the evening rolls around, and we want to do a Bible study as a family with Daddy. We have chosen this. We've been doing this for a year. It's called Investi Investigating God's Word at Home. Uh, we love these because it. this one is Genesis and Job. The next one we're moving to is Matthew. Um, and you can pick which order you go in, uh, but this is the same way. It takes you through um, and helps you. Uh, it'll say, okay, you know, we're gonna start in Genesis. Read Genesis chapter one, verses whatever, one through 20. Um, and then it goes through and it uh, helps give you questions to ask your family um, and stuff like that, but it systematically goes through. It doesn't skip around. It doesn't go by theme. Um, it's a systematic approach to this. Um, this is how we're going to uh, learn what's in the Bible. Um, and I feel like you don't learn as much when you're skipping around too much. You just read it for what it is and figure out what God meant to tell you by having that in the Bible. So investigating God's word at home. Okay, that brings us to um, the final thing for kindergarten. Um, we are doing a group lesson. So all of my kids will do this and this covers all of the other subjects. So we don't have a science program. We don't have a history program. We don't have an art program or a music program or any of the other million things that you could add in and stress yourself out with. What we do is we pick a unit, um, a unit study. Normally we pick something um, like um, some sort of geography. Um, so last year we did Asia. Loved Asia. Um, this year we are doing the United States and um, so how that covers everything if you're not familiar with unit studies is that so you study about okay if if we're on the United States and we're studying about Alabama okay 
we're studying Alabama, we're studying the history, some of the history there, the culture there, the social studies, um, all of that gets covered just because we chose to study Alabama. Um, but then uh, you also will learn things. Um, you'll also have opportunity to do art projects. You'll have opportunities to do science projects. Um, the example I always give is whenever we were studying Asia um, and you think, well, how do you, like what science project would you do for Asia? Well, um, in, I don't remember where it is, Shanghai, I think, um, they have what's called the Maglev train and it's a, um, it's a train that's propelled by magnetic levitation. And so we studied all about that. And then we tried our hand at building something that was forward propelled by only using magnets um, and using magnetic levitation. And so even my little bitty guys, they were four last year, you know, they're talking about learning about things like magnetic levitation. Um, and so there's always opportunities for us to add into our unit study um, ways to uh, put in science and history and geography and art. Um, we learned about uh, a while back, our, one of our units, um, we were learning about tsunamis. And um, while we were learning about tsunamis, we also were able to do an art lesson and everybody tried their hand at painting the big wave. Um, and the big wave is a famous painting. Um, and so we tried our hand at that, so that incorporated in art. Um, so there's lots of lots and lots of opportunities to cover all of your subjects when you do a unit study. So let me go back to this one. This is what we've chosen for this year. Um, and I know we might we might take time to do a few other, a few different unit studies in the middle of this, but I know we started this last year and I know that I could make this last like a good two or three years just doing the United States because there's 50 states and um, each state we take at least half a week, if not a full week per one state. And so you can, you can see how long that would take. Um, anyway, traveling the, Traveling the States. This is a unit from the Waldock Way. And if you don't know anything about the Waldock Way, um, I'm gonna show you here where you can find her online. Um, she has a YouTube channel. She has a website. Um, we get these units off of her website um, and have been super, super pleased with this one. This is the only one we've done so far, but there are others to choose from. Um, anyway so you go to her website you scroll down and you choose which one there's even a video down there uh, for you to look at everything that the unit offers uh, which i thought was awesome because sometimes you just don't know what you're getting um, and this way she has a, a video on it where you can see what you're getting before you purchase and that was pretty cool and we have been super happy. So in this unit, um, traveling the states, it has um, it has lesson plans, and it has these uh, codes here where you can go pull up YouTube playlists and watch some videos. I like to add in my own videos too. I get I get super um, geeky, <laughs> I guess, and I add in a ton of stuff even though she has it to where you could just open it and do it and be good with that, I take it 10 steps further and I add in a ton of stuff. So you can you can do it however you want to. Um, so she has other things in there. We really thought this was cool. We do this all the time. She just has these pictures that go along with each state um, that has a picture of different monuments or famous, um, uh, what's it called, landscapes um for each state and you can either you can paint that picture draw that picture uh, you can build that picture uh, with legos or you know the world's your oyster use that picture and then have your kids do something hands-on to recreate that picture um 
any way you want to. So those are neat. Um, she also has nature profiles. This part is called nature profiles. And um, so like this one's Mississippi. Uh, we did Mississippi last year. It has the state bird, the state flower, and the state tree. And it has, inf oops. It has information that you read about that. Um, and then uh, in the student um, notebook, they go in there and they have they have sheets that they can fill out um, for that and put in that information in their sheet. She also has included um, games. So obviously you can see this is state bingo. My kids love playing this, it's fun. I like playing it too. <laughs> um, and then there's another game down here that I printed out and put in here. And uh, it's like a card game and it's really fun too. So she's included games. Um, then this is, I think this is the most fun part. So she has included passports and this is super fun because every time you go somewhere, um, you get to cut out the stamp uh, for that state and put it in your passport. And then, you know, you have this little passport and it says, hey, I'm done with that state. We did it. Um, that was fun. And for some reason, it's like stickers. I don't know if when you were a kid, you loved collecting stickers and doing, st it's like that. It's, you know, it's gratifying. <laughs> and so we love the passports part of it. It's just fun. Um, and so that is it, that covers it. Um, that, those are our curriculum choices for kindergarten. Um, again, to recap, we have math. We have chosen a Becca K-5. Language arts is mainly the good and the beautiful, um, the Danilian handwriting, the boards that we do of our own, that covers language arts. Then we have the Bible program that we've chosen. And then in the evenings, we do investigating God's word at home. And then our group lesson. And this year we have chosen to uh, do the United States and use traveling the states by the Waldock way. And we're really excited to get this year underway and see how those things go for us and, um, and go from there. So. Hopefully I have introduced something new to you um, that you are interested in looking into um, or said something that's helpful. But uh, anyway, I hope you have a great homeschooling year and I hope you come back and see us. Bye. Mm -hmm.